So what I thought I would show you is a lacto-fermented blueberry recipe. Um, it is so easy if you are new um, to lacto-fermentation. This is one of the easiest things you can do. And if you don't have a place to go pick your own blueberries, um, certainly you can go to the store and buy um, some frozen blueberries. I happen to get organic. Um, if you can't get a hold of organic, don't worry, it's okay. Okay, I've added the honey. I'm just gonna give it a little bit of a stir. I'm just gonna kind of fold it in so that I don't just crush the berries. I have my blueberries in my jars and I think I'm just going to top them off with a little bit more kombucha just so they're covered really well and then I'll put a lid on real tight and um, I'm just going to leave these on my counter to ferment overnight. The last step is to put them on your countertop and cover them with a towel and wait 24 hours. Actually in the morning, so it'll be about 12 hours, I'm going to burp the lids, let off some of the pressure and check on them and uh, I'll probably do that once in the morning and once at night for 24 hours. since I lacto-fermented my blueberries. And as you can see, they are perfectly preserved. And they are infused with probiotics. And they're sweet. Um, they've, they've been covered with the brine of honey and kombucha. And this is just the perfect introductory recipe for learning about lacto-fermentation. I hope you enjoy.